Hello everyone, this is Yash Saxena and you are watching Swadeshi VIP and in this video we will be discussing coccidiosis in cows. Coccidiosis is caused by a single celled parasite that is not a bacteria known as coccidia. There are several species in cattle, not all of which cause disease. The species that cause disease are primarily found in the large intestine and the diarrhea results from the damage to the cells lining in it. Coccidiosis can affect animal as young as 2 years old. However, it is most prevalent in calves between the age of 3 weeks and 6 months. When exposed to settings that have been polluted by other diseased calves or older cattle, animal get affected. This may occur indoors, on bedding or outside near water or food troughs. The coccidial oocysts, which are the parasite's eggs, need heat and moisture to become infectious. Calves susceptibility to parasite infection and subsequent sickness will be influenced by poor cleanliness, heavy stocking densities, poor health and inadequate nutrition. Some visible symptoms from which you can figure out whether your cattle are suffering from coccidiosis are Symptoms are not specific always in coccidiosis. Diarrhea often very watery occurs in calves. Depression, loss of appetite, weight loss, dysentery that is passing of blood stained feces is some, are some of the symptoms. The death is unusual. Even when they don't cause diarrhea, some infections can nevertheless stunt growth and cause weight gain. It's pretty typical to have this subclinical illness. The treatment methods are not as specific as other diseases, but it is seen that when coccidia multiplication stage has passed, coccidiasis is a self-limiting illness and spontaneous recovery without particular therapy is frequent. Animals with clinical symptoms may be treated with sulfaquinoxaline 6 mg per LB per day for 3 to 5 days and amprolium 10 mg kg per day for 5 days, whereas preventive measures include to achieve effective control of coccidia, good management and hygiene is vital. Young susceptible animals should be kept as clean and dry as possible. Feeding and watering equipment should be clean and protected from fecal contamination. Avoid feeding cattle on the ground, especially calves, so manure does not contaminate the feed. Excessive moisture in pens should be drained and dry bedding should be provided. Use pastures that are well drained and avoid forcing animal to graze down to the roots of the plants so they do not eat large number of parasites. Try to keep grazing to a minimum in areas where cattle congregate, that is the areas where water is logged. Whenever possible, infective animals should be isolated as soon as possible to avoid exposure of infected manure to other cattle. In some places, medication can be placed in the water or feed to prevent infection. So I hope this information was helpful for you. For more informative videos on cattle health and products, stay connected with us on our channel Swadeshi VIP. Thank you.